Howdy everybody, Roberto here, and I wanted to show you what I'm doing. So, this is something that I typically do. This is a crazy thing that I typically do, where I have to cut out these letters individually um, for the chat pillows. So, these are just little boxes that have different letters combinations in them. So like, um, for example, this is a B for BRB. Um, or what's here? This is for WTF, W, and they all have to be cut out. They're all different sizes, um, and so this is the like the finished product. So this would be just a big mishmash of WTs and Fs, and um, they are all cut out with felt. Felt is a much uh, thicker material than um, than fleece, which is what the pillows are actually made out of, and so it, it makes it so the, the letter stays kind of together and so that the font looks right and everything like that, which is a big concern. Um, and so right now I'm doing a bunch of this cutting here. So I thought it might be fun to show you how I do um, each of these letters. I'm going to cut out some for fail and some for noob. And this is just something I do, you know, like by hand um, on a pretty normal basis when we do chat pillows. I'll have to cut out the letters and I'll just grab some felt and put on a movie and start cutting some, some letters. Um, so let's turn the camera down and I'll show you how this goes. So this is how it would look if I'm going to do, let's say I'm going to do noob. Here's a piece of felt. Felt comes in, uh, you know, you can get this at a fabric store. It comes in a long bolt. Um, usually I don't use a lot of it, so I just buy it by the yard. Like, I don't buy that much of it. What I need to do, this is the N for noob. These are all cut out um, to scale to fit on the, the pillow, obviously. Um, I use a glue stick. I always use a lot of glue sticks just to glue things temporarily. And you glue it face down to the piece of felt. <clears throat> so when it's on there, so some of these letters have very straight lines. These are uh, Helvetica black letters. That's the font that we use. Um, I chose it because it's just kind of like, I don't know, this is kind of the most simple, like standardized type of font. Plus I really like that movie Helvetica, so I was like, oh, I gotta do Helvetica. But it's a thicker version called Helvetica Black. So, like I said, some of these have a very um, straight line. Most of the all letters in Helvetica have like very straight angles. And um, if you cut them with just <clears throat> with just scissors, it's easy to to mess up. So, if I what I use is a rotary cutter. That way, it's easier to just get a nice straight edge. So, I'm gonna do this. Hopefully, this shows up okay. And so you just cut along the line like so. Oh, I blocked it, didn't I? Let's try again. You cut along the line like so. And then it just gets rid of all the excess. I'll do it again here. And then you just basically, what I do is I cut all of the, um, all the most straight parts of the letter. I'll just cut a straight line with the rotary cutter. So basically I'll do one pass with the rotary cutter on any straight line, and I'll do one pass with scissors to get all the rest of it. <clears throat> so I've been doing this for a long time. Um, before I started Throwboy, like officially before we launched, I would, um, I spent about a year or so, about a year, maybe a little less, just practicing how to, um, how to do this more accurately. So, so doing things like these, like these curves and stuff are, are pretty easy to me now. Like I'll just, I'm, I'm, I'm in a really awkward angle right now because I'm trying to show it on the camera, but normally I could just do this really fast. But yeah, so when you're starting out, 
if you do end up wanting to make pillows or you're trying to cut out letters um, don't worry if they don't look perfect to begin with because it's kind of it takes a lot of practice so <clears throat> so there you go so that's uh, the letter N and uh, it is cut cut out so you just rip it off and that will be the letter that we need for noob so the next letter would be O we need two O's or they're actually zeros and <clears throat> I have some more felt here so I'll just cut a chunk off of this glue it down again Let's see if I can get a little bit better angle this time so obviously with the zero it doesn't have any straight lines so I have to do an all scissor cut here I've had people help me once in a while with this like I'll be like, oh yeah, come over. I'll show you, you know, what I do. And oh, do you want to do you want to try? And always the stuff that that involves any sort of ang or um, curve is always the hardest for most people because you really have to kind of be keeping your scissors constantly rotating to make it work. Um, if you if you end up just doing like a straight cut, like a bunch of a series of lots of straight cuts, then it looks like crap. And like I said, one of the most important things to me is you know quality and also making the letters look right because especially if you're a designer um, designers will get all over you if you don't have you know fonts laid out right and kerned right and all that stuff so to get the middle you just kind of snip inside like so make your way to an edge and you're basically doing the same thing again that you did on the outside So just, oops, I'm sorry, I'm so off. Okay. So there we go. Got the middle, that's all done. That means I can move on to the next O, or zero, I should say. <clears throat> so we got N00. I'll skip this one since I already I'm going to do another one, but I'll, I'll move on to the B. So the B is obviously more like the N because it has curves and straight lines. Glue that down. Cut this bad boy out. So we're going to do the rotary cutter to start. Getting this kind of stuff on camera as a one-man thing is def is definitely hard. So, <laughs> forgive me for the bad camera angles. I'm trying to angle my rotary cutter to get it out of the way. Um, but like I said, if you if you try to cut these all out with scissors, they just don't end up looking as good. You can kind of compare them; they don't end up looking as straight and and neat. So. Anyway, let me zoom in. I'll show you a little bit better. Okay, so cut this out. When I first started doing the um, chat pillows, which is back in, I believe, 2009, um, we were using felt for everything. So we, we, we were using felt for the main part of the pillow, which is what we use for all our pillows still. Um, which is, or did I say felt? I meant fleece. We were using fleece. Um, but we were also using fleece for the letters. And a after kind of thinking about it and kind of experimenting with other materials, we realized that um, felt would have been much better. So we've there are pillows out there. If you bought pillows from us um, in the early days that ha that had uh, fleece letters, and they're just uh, they're a little softer, but they they don't have the same kind of defined shape to them because the like I said, the felt is a lot more strong. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I could probably cut that off. Okay. So we got the majority of those noob letters there. <clears throat> so that's kind of the process. You're just cutting through each letter, uh, cutting around it, 
I have other letters that I need to do in a bit here, like um, fail. So if I have an order, I'll just, you know, lay out the ones I need. Typically what I'll do though, is um, I will cut out a lot of letters. So I'll just cut out like, oh, I need to do, or I'm just gonna cut out like a whole bunch of WTF, get that out of the way for a while. Or I'm gonna cut out a whole bunch of fail, just get that out of the way. So that way, <clears throat> when I'm doing other things, when I have an order, I can just pull it together and then do it, you know, basically just assemble it. So it makes it, makes it a lot faster. Um, I still do all of the cutting for, for Throwboy. Um, early on, I passed on the sewing duties because I don't really have a lot of time to do both. But uh, eventually, I think I'll pass on the cutting duties because a lot of this takes up just so, so, so much time. And, um, you know, there's a lot of other things I could do to kind of help to grow the business. But as of right now, cutting out letters, yo. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. Just give you a look behind the scenes of how we have to do this kind of stuff. And... Um, yeah, that's it. So, leave a thing in the comments saying, what is your favorite chat pillow saying? LOL, OMG, WTF, whatever. Okay, see you guys. Peace out.